morning folks uh, line and wash uh, not sure whether to do a river scene or a, a snow scene I like snow scenes yeah let's let's do a snow scene let's put in a I've got a bit of uh, black acrylic paint here a bit of water in my little lid now let's just do a bit of a I'm using a, a fairly rough paper and I'm using this script brush, Japanese script brush. Put in a bit of a bit of ground there and we'll have a to make sure you keep your brushes very very clean because otherwise you will lose your brush because if acrylic dries in the ferrule I'll add to that I'll use this finer brush as well Okay, that I'll do for one. Let's just okay. Let's have a bit of distant, more distant trees. This is a not as rough as the one I was using. This is made by Winsor Newton, but it's a. It's a much cheaper paper, the other stuff sold out because we gave it so much publicity. Could do this with, with actual watercolour paint really. It's a watercolour isn't it like this. But just touching, catching the high spots of the paper. I mean we can I'll put some bluer ones behind that, so I won't put too much detail in there. Bit of pushy stuff. I'll use a, a finer rigger. Keep that wet. Get my rigger. Okay, something like that. Maybe some branches come down, some go up. I'll, I'll probably put some ivy on, on this. Get some of that a little bit. Okay, that way. And we'll put in a bit of. Oops, too much paint on the brush there.
have a bit of a bit of hill, bit of a bit of a path there. My other, my other brush back, and we'll do some banks of trees. Get, get to fairly dry. There's enough water on uh, in the brush to get a story done like that. Hmm, that's looking promising. Uh, I'll have a bit of, bit of bushy stuff in here. I can put a fence or something on there as well. Okay, so that's that so far. Clean the brush. Have a little swig of tea. This isn't a how-to video, this is uh, just me, just sharing a few words with you. I don't have a method really, I, I just go at it. Till I get something that I think is sort of reasonable. Never. Nothing definite. When you want to do a fence, I try to just try to get it just a few bits and pieces, just to suggest a fence rather than actually do it. Some of these trunks, there's a lovely paper. I don't really tell you where I got it from, though. Huh? You'll have to watch on Patreon to get more details. Because the last lot we advertised sold out.
That's quite a big tree, that one. I'll have to balance that up a little bit and make a bigger one here. Mm. Rough it up a bit. The um, the painting takes just a few minutes. The drawing of this takes the time because it is a line and line and wash. So some more sort of in. I'll give this a bit of a dry when I before I start painting. Otherwise. It will um, run. Awesome. I will put a couple of figure, figures in. Or it's just a little bit overdone there, I've got some birds going in here. Okay, a bit more in this foreground here. Brush is clean. Oh, that's a nice thing for this brush to do. Some glasses. There's some shadow in there. Right, I think we'll call that a day on there. Clean the brush. I will use the hake for blocking in. Uh, finish my tea and I'll get that dried. Ah, lovely. Usually you let them go cold. Right, take your headphones off or I'll fast forward. Some of your old brushes do things that new brushes don't, like that sort of 
grassy effect. I'm going to do this uh, as, a, as an early evening or late afternoon. <coughs> the, weather, the weather today, I tell you, is uh, very wet, or has been very wet. The sky seems to be clearing a bit, but it's warming up a little bit. It was cold yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to just wet wet the uh, paper all over. Okay, let's just more or less damp. This is quite porous paper. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of blue and a touch of touch of black. Get sort of an indigo-y sort of colour. Put out my loose hairs. Okay, so let's get in some red, some light red, and a bit of cad yellow. And we're going to just put a weak general wash over the land. In the snow. I don't overdo this because I don't want to destroy the essential whiteness of the snow, but it will pick up the colours above and around. So let's just reclip the paper now. Now you've noticed my last two demos have been on Patreon, but I've done trailers for them. I'm going to do more of this because at the end of the day, it's about paying its way. And Patreon is a way that people can make a small contribution to what stuff they can't see publicly. I'm going to put in some cloud on that. I just want to. I keep the paints in a stay wet palette, which I use for acrylic as well. Well, I do acrylic, and I, ju I just want to just give it a bit of a spray with, so just a bit of old towel in there. That's a, that's as a membrane, and it keeps my paint nice and moist when I'm not using it. It's a bit of an argument raging on Facebook. Well, not raging, just some suggestion. But uh, comments that uh, student quality colours are inferior. Uh, well, in my experience, and I've had a lot of it, uh, I, I more or less use exclusively Winsor & Newton colours, but I do have Jackson's artist quality and I've got some Winsor & Newton artist quality. I use Winsor, Winsor & Newton mainly because some of the colours are saturated, like the burnt sienna, the light red, the cadmium yellow, the black, um, they, they, they are terrific, you don't need to, uh, artist quality for those. The burnt umber is a little weak, as is the alizarin, we don't use a lot of that anyway. Uh, the burnt umber and the, and the ultramarine could do. But it's, a, it's, it's not inferior pigment, it's just less pigment in artist quality, uh, in, in the student quality, more binder. Uh, and I'm quite happy with, with these, I've never had a problem with them. You, 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 obviously you use more of it because it's not super saturated like the uh, artist quality but it does mean but there is a difference I've noticed that, that the burnt sienna in Winsor & Newton is quite a bit darker than and redder than other other manufacturers and for that reason alone I use Winsor & Newton burnt sienna it's the same in their in their Winton oil student oil range the burnt sienna is, su is a superb colour, mixes beautifully with the black and the, and the ultramarine. 
And that's, that's another reason why I use this particular one. There's nothing, to, this isn't any better than any other uh, known manufacturer's paint. It's just, uh, just what you like, it's what you get on with, what you get used to. But I would say that if you're beginning to, to use a simple palette, just a few colours, and stick with them and learn everything they can do. And all, the, all, the, all the mixes takes time, even just to remember the colours. The names of the colours, raw sienna, burnt sienna, burnt umber, raw umber, all the different blues, but just use a simple palette. Now this is simple, isn't it? A couple of pounds for a, for a display tray. There are uh, slightly larger ones. I've got one here with some water, water colour pad on it. Local, local, local uh, grocery superstore. They do the, any number of these, two pound fifty, and it's bigger than the one I'm using. So I'm, I'm going to change it at some stage to, to this slightly larger one. Anyway, lecture over. I'm going to put a bit, bit of cloud in there now, just a bit of dark sort of night cloud. So it's just a bit of blue, a bit of red. No more than that. I'm going to dry it now just so I can crack on with it. So, headphones off or mutual sound. Okay, I'm going to use quite a bit of. Uh, of that uh, burnt sienna with the ultramarine for my out tree outlines. So a bit, bit of blue on these ones. Touch of sienna in there. A little bit of blue. Just some blue background. A bit of blue, blue behind it, a bit of alizarin. Probably hear the brush making a, a scraping noise. It's a bit burnt umber there. Well, it's not that unsaturated, is it? I don't use a lot of burnt umber. I want some uh, dark green now. So a bit of blue, a bit of cad yellow. Could even use a bit of black. Some 
must have broke there. Uh, same on the other side here, this is... Some nice colour. They've, they've got a bit heavy on these the tops of my branches. But never mind. Got some nice, let's get some nice good bit of warmer colour in some of these. A bit of red. Okay, let's get into some. Don't like that. What should we do about that? Oh, yes, it is. Right, now some shadow. The light's coming from this way, so... Oh, the light's coming that way. Okay. Dry. I'll do something about that in a minute. I'll make that clear a little bit too much there. Right, and we're a bit of, bit of warm in here now. Just a little bit of warm here and there. Okay, so we've got some warm in the distance, in the background, and some lovely warm in the front. 
ten novum. Okay, uh, figure, figure brush. Uh, so figure brush. Now I'm going to use an artist quality. Well, I think I'm going to use an artist quality. I don't know what's what now. I mix them all together. I'm just I'm going to use a, a bit of hooker's green. I think. Uh, where's my hooker's green? Oh, I'm, oh yeah, there it is. So I mix that with a bit of bit of wind, bit of Windsor blue. That could be a lovely, a lovely rich green. So let's uh, and a bit of grey and a touch of blue. A little bit of a shadow. Oh, I'm only going to put one in. So it's, it's coming that way. Footprints. Okay, I'm just going to make that shoulder just a little bit more pronounced here. Okay, don't make the heads too big on those. Right, I have to dry. That's enough for that. Just want a bit of bit of background trunks in, in this, so it's just blue. Just very light blue. Oh, just gently just put in. Filling in some little bits here and there. Okay, that'll do. I'll put a bird on, on there. What to do with your blobs? Okay, there we are. I'll put that in the mount to zoom out. Uh, sorry about the shaking. Let's uh, take those off. That on there. That on there. Dirty old mount, I know, but a bit of sign, isn't it? Uh, right. Oh, I know what I was going to do. So I'm going to just do that bit there. 
Let's try to get a big paint box. And a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of ultra. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching in, and I'll see you soon. But uh, have a look at Patreon and just see what you think of it. See you soon. Bye bye.